How's it going? My name's Justin Wiggins. I'm with my good buddy Tommy. What you got there, Tom? I think it's a smallmouth. Uh, we are up here on the Housatonic River in uh, Cornwall, West Cornwall area, the Upper Housatonic. Uh, it's early September, and we are doing some smallmouth bass fishing. Super simple way of fishing. Oh, there's one. Beauty. Um, we got light tackle, so light, ultra light rods, four or six pound test. And we're throwing a variety of rigs. I have a uh, live shiner on my uh, line right now with a few weights to bring it down to the bottom. Uh, Tom's got a jig, which he'll show you in a minute. And all you really got to do to be out here is find some deep pools and uh, put a pair of wading shoes or a pair of old socks or a pair of wading sandals on. And just be careful, walk out here and cast some baits out to the deeper water. And there's hungry smallmouth. These fish are super aggressive. Uh, they fight really hard. Best to release them. There's a uh, advisory on not eating the smallmouth bass out of the uh, Hoosepanic River. Great way to spend a summer day when the water is nice and warm. So let's get into some of the different methods that you could use to get out here. All right, hey, out on the Housatonic, I'm using a, um, a lead head jig. It's about a quarter ounce jig. And I'm using a scented uh, auger tail grub, plastic. Um, what, it's a nice little run right here. So what I'm trying to do is cast over to the other side of the run and pull the lure, uh, keeping it close to the bottom before it gets into the the, um, the flow, the heavy flow of the river. Uh, it seems like they're hitting right at that seam. So what I'm doing is casting out. And then just slowly retrieving. And I'm feel, I want to be a right. I'm going to be right near the bottom. Nope, not that time. So we've just caught two fish in the last five minutes. Man, they fight hard in this. This is a this is a, a pretty stiff current, so they're gonna as soon as they turn sideways, it's gonna take your line down. Another nice Pusatonic nice. Smalley. Yeah, Alright. Nice little Pusatonic River smallmouth here. About eight inches, standard size. So what I'm using here is a small lead head jig. It's about a, uh, I believe this is a 1 16th size. Got my pliers. It's a beautiful little cat. Uh, Who's Tonic River smallmouth bass. And uh, what that fish was caught on was a small 1 16th ounce lead head jig with a little curly tail with about a a two inch chartreuse curly tail and all you got to do here got ultra light rod here cast down into the current let the current take it downstream and i just kind of do a slow retrieve and bounce it back behind all the boulders into the deep water when you're river fishing for smallmouth bass you cannot go wrong with live bait so uh, your options are uh, a live shiner like I got in my hand right here. I've also been catching crawfish just with a little net under rocks and I put them on a number six hook. Then all I'm going to do is hook that, put that hook right through the lower lip of, up through the top of the uh, shiner, cast out upstream, and just I want to tick the bottom and I'm just going to let that bait tick right along the bottom. Very successful, very productive way of fishing. We have just been having a field day out here. The past 30 minutes we must have caught 10 fish. Um, all in one little pool, beautiful river, the Hoosponic River, this upper Hoosponic is just absolutely gorgeous, there's great public access, the summertime, the smallmouth fishing just gets amazing as the water temperature is warm, very easy, it's super fun, we'll be catching these nice smallmouth bass on light tackle.